Hi, my name is Professor Raj Gupta. I'm a consultant in paediatric neurology at Birmingham Children's Hospital. Hi, my name is Dr. Kiki Chang. I am a child, adolescent, and adult psychiatrist in private practice in Palo Alto, California, United States of America. Hi, I'm Dr. Vicky Quarrelt. I'm based in the UK. I'm a clinical psychologist and also a mum. Hi, my name's Russell Dale. I'm a professor of paediatric neurology. I work in Sydney in Australia. I work at the Children's Hospital of Westmead and the University of Sydney. Hi, my name is Amy Smith. I'm a nurse practitioner in the United States. And my office is in California, which is on the West Coast. Pans means that there's a physical illness that's making somebody's behavior or feelings or um, sleep or their ability to think the way they normally think, right? The, the physical illness is affecting the way that they're acting or thinking, okay? It's not a thinking problem. It's not a behavior problem. It's not a psychiatric problem, even though it looks like it is. Those are symptoms. They're not the cause. The way I explain it is like, uh, it's just like inflammation. Your immune system overreacts to something. Uh, and sometimes those overactive immune systems can lead to inflammation in the brain. And I like to explain that the basal ganglia is the area of the brain that really fine tunes a lot of the brain circuits. So the circuits for mood, for anxiety, for um, motor movements, for uh, attention. Um, it basically is a fine tuner. And so I explained that uh, if that area is disrupted by inflammation, then you can disrupt a whole bunch of different circuits, which means you get a lot of different symptoms, which is sort of the hallmark of pans and pandas, right? So how I like to explain it and to think about it is very simply that pans and pandas is the name of the illness or condition where the body's immune system gets confused and attacks the wrong thing in the body. And this then makes someone feel and behave and think very differently, often very suddenly. I think I often start by talking about how our brain is within our body and uh, it gets affected by our immune system uh, and everything else that's going on in our body. And people with pans and pandas appear to be extremely vulnerable to that interaction, the infections Otherwise, fairly normal infections like colds or sore throats, tonsillitis, can trigger an abnormal response in the immune system in the brain of these people with pans and pandas. The reason that young people with pans and pandas get this problem, and it's as though their immune system is not quite regulating itself uh, correctly, and so there is an abnormal response to infections or other immune triggers in these individuals. What I generally say is that Pans and pandas is triggered usually by an infection of some description. And then what happens is that your immune system rightly tries to fight off that infection. And in order to do so, it produces what we call antibodies, which attack the agent, the bacteria or the virus, for instance, that's causing the infection. But unfortunately, those antibodies also cross react with, sub with the substance in the brain and causes swelling. And that swelling then can cause changes in the way that you think, your behaviours, um, and also maybe potentially with regards to causing movement disorders such as tics. But what's tricky for the doctors is that cha these changes or clues, if you like, can look like other problems. And so it's kind of tough for them to know exactly what's wrong, which is why diagnosis can take a long time sometimes and be hard to figure out. There isn't a simple test to find out if someone has pans or pandas 
Um, and what often I think can happen is doctors need to do lots of different tests to rule things out. And that can take some time. Not all doctors know a lot about PANS and PANDAS. It, and it often takes a doctor who knows a lot about these conditions to figure out the right diagnosis. I think it is fair to say that many things in medicine do not get accepted until we have a test for them, until we can prove or show tests or biomarkers to say, this is what it is, this is what we think it is. We will continue to probably struggle in this area. <clears throat> I think, <clears throat> so I think more knowledge, more research, more clinical research, more scientific research, and ultimately more clinical trial data is what is gonna move us forward. Unfortunately, at the moment, we have not been able to identify a biomarker. We've not been able to identify a result of a test that can confirm that this is PANS and PANDAS. And most of the tests that we do are actually to try and rule out other possible conditions which may mimic or manifest with similar symptoms to PANS PANDAS. I think it's probably true that patients who were treated early, so if they present in the, and, and they've had symptoms for only a month or two, they are probably more likely to respond more quickly and more completely. And vice versa, I think patients who have had symptoms and problems for a long time, many, many months or many, many years, it will probably take longer to achieve some benefits in treatment. So I think that is generally true. However, it, it does not mean that if you don't get treated for a long time that you won't get better. It doesn't follow like that. And certainly I've had some patients who had really severe symptoms for many years and then we've been able to treat them and they've done incredibly well. People get over having pandas and pans all the time. So even if you don't know how that can possibly happen and you're just right in the middle of being very confused and you don't like what's happening, you don't like how you feel, just know that if you just keep going and you follow the science, right, that science can help you recover your health back and help your brain get itself all cleared out. Okay, so do not give up, no matter what. The good news, though, is that with the right treatment, the immune system can work again properly. It can stop hurting the brain and go back to protecting the body. Being well again and feeling better can definitely happen. We are seeing really, really good results with some of these uh, treatment trials that are coming out. The good news is that even though it can be tricky to diagnose, there are more people um, talking about pans and pandas, so awareness is growing, and there are doctors working really hard to learn more about them. I'm hopeful, though, that with ongoing research which is happening in the UK and abroad, that we will soon identify a biomarker, identify a result of a test, whether that be radiological or genetic or immunological, etc., which will hopefully then identify that this person does have PANS pandas. And once we get that diagnostic marker, you'll find that the acceptance from all healthcare professionals will be a lot higher. I think we are making progress. I've been working in this area for a long time. I think we're significantly further forward than we were 10 years ago. I have hope and I have faith that we will make progress in this area. So I think that the future looks bright. Um, we got to keep fighting. We got to keep spreading the word. Uh, but with organizations like Pans Pandas UK, like Expand, like all those advocacy groups across the world, um, they're just getting bigger and stronger and uh, getting the word out. So hang tight, keep asking questions, keep, uh, keep at it, and uh, don't stop believing.
I hope that I've been able to answer at least some of your questions today. I know that you probably have other unanswered questions and that as time goes on, you'll have new questions that you would like to ask us. I do hope that Pans Pandas UK will have further Ask the Experts Q&As because I think they're helpful not just for you, but also your families, but they're also helpful for us as professionals because it helps us to understand what we need to do to support you. So I'd like to say thank you to Pans Pandas UK and also to you all for sending in these fabulous questions and I wish you all the very best. Thank you.